Greetings, James Hackley, author of the best-selling book, Body, Mind, and Spirit, The Awakening, and welcome to Day 12 of your journey. Day 12 is one of my favorite. It's titled Prayer and Meditation. A wise man once said that prayer is the act of talking to God and meditation is listening. Now, we typically get in the habit of praying when we want something or when we're in a pinch. But how often do we pray to God just to thank him, just to thank him for all the blessings that he continued to bestow upon us and that we're really not even worthy for? And when it comes to meditation, uh, how often do you just stop and quiet your mind? Now, there are various forms of meditation. Uh, a lot of folks who studied the Bible, they think to meditate is to murmur or to keep mulling over one single thought in your mind. And, and that is a form of meditation as well. But I submit that one of the ultimate forms of meditation is just to learn to quiet your mind. Now imagine, if you will, all of the chaos that's happening around you day in, day out. Imagine if you can escape that chaos, if you can find an oasis in your own mind. And through meditation, you can do that. Uh, however, one of the challenges of meditation is just not quitting. Uh, I encourage you to try it. Uh, if you're a morning person, try it in the morning before you begin your day. If your day uh, is too hectic and it would be better suited to do it at the end of the day, uh, try it at the end of the day. But you don't want to really try to meditate at the end of the, in the middle of the day because you'll either be thinking about something that you just finished doing or that thing that you have to do uh, just after you finish meditating. But the most difficult thing about meditating is just not quitting. Try to just to sequester yourself for about 15 to 20 minutes and just to meditate. Now, you don't need the incense burning and all of that stuff, but you just need to find yourself a quiet space, a sit. You don't have to be in a full lotus position. You can sit in a chair or you can sit cross-legged, Indian style if you want to, but a quiet place in your house where your back is straight and just breathe in, breathe out for about 15, 20 minutes. Now, a lot of times there's a chant, uh, and the sole purpose of a chant is to keep you from getting distracted because if you were just to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, the neophyte, Next thing you know, you'll be thinking about laundry or you'll be thinking about your job and all of that stuff. But having that single point, a chant, you, you may have heard Om. Uh, Om, uh, a lot of the yogis believe it's just the sound of the universe. They think that from rocks to every living thing is emitting the sound of Om. But you can chant Om or you can chant whatever you want to praise or you can chant the name of God, whatever you want to say. Just saying though that particular word, it forces your mind to think on that single thought and help. Uh, reduce and mitigate any distractions that may pop up. So uh, day 12, prayer and meditation, it's a very, very life-changing uh, section. But let me tell you about prayer. Uh, glance over prayer initially, but prayer is very, very important. I'm a physicist by background, so I have a way of when I read stuff, when I read the Bible, a lot of scientists will try to, to use their science to prove why there isn't a God, but my science background, I'll prove why God does exist and uh, I'll prove why miracles that God uh, reveals to us exist as well. But when it comes to prayer, I think that prayer alone, uh, God aside, prayer and positive thinking can change things. Reason being is that we are all connected. And as I said, I'm a physicist and there's a theory out there called quantum entanglement. And quantum entanglement is a one big web that we're all connected to. And if you can imagine from a biblical reference, uh, God created one man, Adam, and we're all descendants from Adam. So that being, we're all connected. We all have something, some part of Adam that exists in us all. And that's kind of where the whole quantum physics, quantum entanglement web came, comes thing comes in as well. So when we pray, basically, we do the positive thoughts. We're actually praying that our thoughts actually stimulate the molecules in others. And just imagine if a lot of other folks are just praying and there's a single mindedness, there's a single thought, and we're getting the molecules and in, in, in someone's sick. We're praying for healing, so we get positive molecules, we get positive things happening. That's my idea, and that's my understanding how prayer works. Now, when you throw God in the equation, huh, God just amplifies all of those prayers. So with God and everyone else that's praying for something, we actually affect the change by moving and influencing the molecular structure. So that's my understanding of how prayer works. But when you read uh, Day 12, uh, Prayer and Meditation, uh, it'll be an eye-opening uh, day for you. And as usual, I encourage you to visit me at uh, www.jamesackley.com and also drop me an email to let me know how your journey is progressing. Uh, I, can be, I can be reached at info at jamesackley.com. God bless.